Hi, I'm Mike, one of the Ingram in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for April 12th, 2024. Really solid new arrival week, tons of stuff. We're actually into row number two, which uh, doesn't happen too frequently. Uh, it's kind of crazy to think that this much stuff is coming in, especially considering how much stuff that is going to be here next week. Next week is going to be, oh my God, it's going to be crazy. Not only do we have Record Store Day, but the Pink Floyd 50th anniversary got pushed back. Pearl Jam's new record is dropping. It is uh, going to be crazy. <laughs> uh, but I'm looking forward to it. It's a great record store day. Stuff is already coming in. I'm already listening to stuff. I'll film a specific video. I used to do unboxing videos, but they're like my least favorite record videos to film. But I had been doing them for so long, I continually did them throughout the years, even though I didn't like them. But what I'm going to do this year is I'm going to essentially grab all the records that I wanted and kept for myself. The stuff that I thought was cool. I'm listening to them already, and I'll kind of talk about those, kind of review and, you know, do like a show and tell of those particular videos, you know, those particular records. The Doors I've already listened to, uh, the Rolling Stones Live at the Racket, There's some cool stuff. I'll talk about those later on, but uh, man, we got a lot of Record Store Day stuff. On a side note, we open for Record Store Day here in Phoenix at 8 o'clock Arizona time. Uh, that's Record Store Day Saturday. The day after Record Store Day, like we always do, everything that doesn't sell in the store on Record Store Day, that's next Sunday, you know, the day after. Everything will be on our website at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So that's 5 o'clock Pacific Arizona Time, 5 a.m., 8 o'clock everything Eastern Time, a.m., we'll have everything online. And I'm guessing we're going to have a ton of stuff online uh, because we've got pallets and pallets and pallets of stuff back there. It's nuts. Okay, a few pre-orders were announced. These are uh, Acoustic Sound Series titles, so these are kind of the continuation of the series. A few of these are some absolute bangers. Uh, these are all like slated towards the end of the year, but they're up for pre-order now on the website. Chet Baker's Baker's Holiday, October 11th. Mel Torme, October 25th. I love Mel Torme. I think he's kind of been slated now as kind of like, you know, I think he gets lumped in with the you know, the crooners that aren't very desirable anymore, like the Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, that kind of thing. But some of Meltor's May records to this day, I mean, I'll put them on and I'd sell 10 copies in the store if, you know, it was a title that I readily had available. He's got some killer, killer records and killer tunes that are kind of smattered throughout his catalog. Uh, they're doing Torme, October 25th. That's the type, you know, Mel Torme's Torme. Wonderful voice. Ben Webster and Oscar Peterson. So it's Ben Webster meets Oscar Peterson's the title of the record. That comes out November 1st. Ben Webster's See You at the Fair, November 15th. Jimmy Smith's The Cat. That comes out December 6th. And my absolute favorite from the list, Jimmy Smith's absolute funkiest album. It is a straight banger. Can't recommend this record a lot, especially if you like funk. That is Jimmy Smith's Root Down. That comes out December 13th. Killer title. My favorite, again, of that list. Although that Torme done right could be really good. He, like I said, kind of has a voice meant for, you know, kind of like Dream with Dean, the Dean Martin title, or the uh, Tennessee Ernie Ford analog production title. Like those records in, you know, high quality analog pressing, just amazing. I have a feeling that Mel Torme could be very similar. Okay. I got my email and customers coming in last uh, couple weeks ago, blew up my email box and wondering like, Hey, uh, you're sold out. You're sold out. Yes, I'm sold out. It's a $450 box set on Discogs and I have it in the store for half price. I got some more. Uh, as of now, they're on the website for sale. This is the Depeche Mode box set of Violator, the Violator box set. So as of now, I have it. If it's not on the website, when you're watching this video, I am sold out, which I'm assuming was going to happen very quickly because I didn't get a ton of these. And again, it's a box set. Last I looked, it was between four and 500 bucks on Discogs. But for whatever reason, I never got these the first time around. I never got my shipment. They missed me on them. But for whatever reason, they, uh, lo and behold, they sent them three years after the fact. I want to say that came out originally in 2020. Yeah, it's nuts. I don't even, I don't know what happened there. I don't know the story. 
SACD restock, it looks like. We've got Sealy Dan's Can't Buy a Trill. SACD of Genesis selling England by the pound. And SACD restock of uh, Mingus's Blues and Roots. Pretty good analog productions restock I'll show you guys at the end of the video. But let's start with this week's new arrivals. Starting with the Tone Poet. Horace Silver's Silver's Serenade. Also, these are actually two great records and not the easiest records to find. Anthony Wilson, Lifetime. Willie Colon's La Gran Fuega. Is that the big break? The big break? It's translated for me right on the cover. Kind of cool. This is all analog, cut from the master tape by Kevin Gray at Coherent, and it includes a wanted poster. I really dig all the fine stuff that Kevin Gray's been doing with uh, with Kraft. The titles have just been absolutely fantastic. Continuing with the All Analog Contemporary Series, cut by Bernie Grumman from the original Master Tape, we've got Harold Lands, The Fox. I've listened to this quite a few times. It is really good. Yeah, I've enjoyed this. This series has been great. Continuing with the reissue campaign from Billy Joel, we've got Turnstiles. The uh, D, the processor in the back, was receiving records, and she's like, are we going to be able to put this on YouTube? I'm like, yeah, it's only a foot and a tongue. I'm, we should be good. <laughs> we'll find out. Stanley Turrentine's Sugar. This is limited to a 1,000 copies on translucent orange marbled vinyl, and this is copy 799. Turrentine, Ron Carter, George Benson, and Freddie Hubbard really Digging that we're seeing more of these CTI records get uh, manufactured. Great label, tons of great artists. All right. Nathaniel Merriweather presents Lovage, music to make love to your old lady by. So this is an indie exclusive, so an indie exclusive colorway, clear with red and blue splatter vinyl. And I've got the instrumental version in stock as well. It came out a while back. From Music on Vinyl, Mountain. Uh, climbing. Uh, yeah, just standard black vinyl. Lincoln Parks, Paper Cuts, Singles Collection, 2000 to 2023. I've got two versions of this. This is the black colored vinyl. And I've got it on clear vinyl. Clear, black, and red splatter. We've got No Doubt, the singles, 1992 to 2003. This is the first ever 180 gram 2LP black vinyl pressing. Vampire Weekend, the new album from Vampire Weekend, indie exclusive, includes an alternate cover. The name of this is Only God Was Above Us. Hmm. It's an interesting cover. The Libertines. We've got All Quiet on the Eastern Esplanade. This is the indie exclusive clear vinyl variant. And this is the same record, but this is a 2LP, like a deluxe version. The other one's a single disc. This is a 2LP. What the hell's the difference? I almost feel like this would be at a different speed because they've, it's the exact same tracks but split up on two discs. Check the website. This might be a 33. This might be a 45 RPM. That'd be kind of cool if they did that. That kind of looks like what they've done. Hmm. Mark Knopfler's newest album, One Deep River. Let's see, One Deep River. This is 
the, maybe an indie, so yeah, this is the indie exclusive on colored vinyl. The Essential Eagles collection. So this is called To The Limit. This is essentially a 6LP greatest hits. So it's a 6LP greatest hits comp, but it includes hits, album cuts, and then they throw some live performances on here. Yeah, kind of, uh, let's see, what is that? One, two discs worth of live performances. So like 4LP greatest hits, 2LP uh, live concert performances. 1984, Yosef Latif from Elemental Music on Impulse. Revenge of the Nerds. The killer new wave soundtrack to the 1984 film. This is a lemon swirl vinyl pressing limited to 500 copies. Elliot Smith. This is the Indie Maroon vinyl variant list, uh, limited to 1500 copies of either or. From Music on Vinyl, we've got Blue Oyster Cults, On Your Feet or On Your Knees, limited to 1500 copies on silver and black marble vinyl. Number 342, Blue Oyster Cult, Ghost, Ghost Stories. This looks like a European import. Conan Gray, Found Heaven. This is a transparent yellow vinyl variant. Pretty cool, like limited reissue series they did of uh, Death. So custom tricolor merge with splatter vinyl and they're all foil covers, so spiritual healing. You can kind of get it. This is how they come, by the way, directly from uh, Relapse. So you don't get seam splits. They don't actually come factory sealed, but I'll show you one of them. So that is that particular color variant. Yeah, all foil covers. So we got Death a Leopard Sea. Scream Bloody Gore. Same thing, all tricolor vinyl. Let's see, The Sound of Perseverance. Oh, it's kind of cool, they didn't stick the records in the jacket, but they didn't put them behind, they put them in between the gatefold. And Human. Music on Vinyl, Tony Joe White, The Train I'm On, limited to a thousand copies on yellow colored vinyl. Number 140. Miles Davis. This is uh, Sam Records did this as a 10 inch. I wanna say this is, this is a 12 inch, I mean, it's a 12 inch, but I think it's the same material. And I don't know if they've added stuff, you know, more to it. Who put this out? This is from Decca, France. But uh, Elevator to the Gallows, I believe is the translation. Lift to the Scaffold. Yeah. It's one of those two. I've heard it, uh, I've heard it translated both ways. But it's a great soundtrack. The Sam Records, by the way, sounds great. I don't know how this sounds. Uh, Miles Davis, Barney Weiland. It's a great soundtrack. It really is. Noah Kahn's Sick Stick Season will all be here forever. James, the new album by James. Yummy. Didn't know they were still together. Shabaka, perceive its beauty, acknowledge its grace. This is on impulse. 
Floating Points is on this, Andre 3000, 35 other guys, possibly gals. This is, uh, this is worth a listen to, being on impulse. Let's see, Marcus King, Mood Swings. Indie exclusive neon orange vinyl. Phosphorescent Revelator exclusive black ice vinyl variant. This is on Verve. Katie Pruitt, Mantras. We've got, this is, in, what is this? Bruce Cockburn, looks like a comp. Imaginational Anthem, Imagina, Imagina, Imaginational Anthem, Volume 13. That's how uh, I'm going to assume that's pronounced, on Thompson Square. So from Craft Recording, we've got Tony Rice, Church Street Blues, all analog, cut by Kevin Gray from the original master tape. First final reissue of the acclaimed album from the Bluegrass Icon, fourth studio album from the Grammy-winning artist. Nico, The Marble Index. Mastered from the original tapes, high quality 2023 edition. And then we've got another Nico, looks like it's the same series. Mastered from the original tapes. Uh, Desert Shore. Don't know what that is. Nico, Drama of Exile. This is pressed on a lavender vinyl. This is on uh, Sunday's sub-label, Modern, Modern Harmonic. And this is on Domino. We've got the Mets up on Gravity Hill. This is the Loser Edition, which is, again, code for first pressing when it comes to sub-pop. Uh, the first pressings they do on colored vinyl, they call it a Loser Edition. They don't ever do that color again, and then subsequent pressings are typically on black vinyl, unless they do like an anniversary or a special edition in the future, you know, and then they'll do a pack on colored vinyl. Todd Rundgren's Faithful from Friday Music. Speaking of, Sunny Day Real Estate, this is a 30th anniversary of Diary, and it is on pearl vinyl. First time on LP in its entirety, remastered from the original master tapes. Features two bonus tracks remixed by the producer, Brad Wood. The old 97s, American Primitive, new studio album on olive green vinyl. This is a soundtrack to All of Us Strangers. Hilary Hahn, Bach Concertos, on Deutsche Gramophon. We've got Maggie Rogers, Don't Forget Me. This is the indie vinyl variant on... Doesn't say. Don't know the color vinyl on that one. The Show, Niall Horgon, The Encore. Nile Horgan on the show, The Encore. Luca Di Alberto, In Our Hearts. I'm doing it again, baby. The new album from Girl in Red. We've got America, self-titled from Friday Music. Anniversary Edition. The Selector, Too Much Pressure from, 
2001 Half Speed Remaster by Alchemy at Air. We've got the soundtrack to Griselda. Actually, I almost started watching this. I'm kind of the point now where I, like, I, for instance, I just started uh, Ozark. I like watching shows when they're done so then I can just watch the whole show and I don't have to be waiting. And there's so much stuff coming out. It's like you really don't need to watch things when they're new. You can watch them kind of <laughs> when they're done. So who knows? Maybe I'll start that. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll wait five years. What is this? We love wizardry. This is the original soundtrack. Kintaro Hayenda. Japanese pressing. Looks like a video game soundtrack, maybe? That's a guess. This is a soundtrack, right? <laughs> So this is a video game soundtrack to uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Dimension Shell Shock. Johnny Cash live at the Austin City Limits. What have you got here? East Coast, self-titled East Coast by East Coast. Super Rare 1973 Soul Funk Classic. This looks good. First ever reissue. Fire Orange with Black Streaks Pressing. I'm definitely going to listen to this. Not familiar with it. Looks really good. Soul Funk right up my alley. Ah, plenty of good eating on Black Jazz. Cleveland Eaton. This is 1975 Soul Jazz Funk Classic. On the highly collectible black jazz label. Penrose, we've got uh, the Sacred Souls, the instrumentals. The Sacred Souls, this is also another Penrose release, the highly anticipated debut album from Southern California's Sweet Soul Trail Blazers. I remember when Penrose first issued uh, the Sacred Souls 7 inches, I accidentally ordered them by mistake. I put them off to the side, because you know, we don't do much in the way of new 7 inches. I put them off to the side, forgot to process them. A couple of weeks later, I went back and I went to get the information to build the SKU for the website, and I looked online, and they were like $100, $200 a piece. They were going for crazy money. Sean Ono Lennon. Mm -hmm. Asterisms, a project of Hips Road. Okay, I wonder what this is like. We've got the original soundtrack to Phantom of the Paradise, 50th Anniversary Edition. Another Music on Vinyl title. This is the Shocking Blue Singles Collection, uh, Part 1, limited edition of 1,000 copies, individually numbered on white colored vinyl. Number 972. Joy Division, this is uh, Rock Festival 2056, so it's like a live performance from 1979 on Morpheus Records. This is number 338 of a limited edition run of 500 albums manufactured on red vinyl. This actually looks like it was written by a six-year-old. Look, look at the handwriting. Pause the video, zoom in and look at the handwriting on this. That is so awful. Okay. Thin Lizzy, live. Life, excuse me, Thin Lizzy's Life. Live double album on Friday Music. 
from Music on Vinyl, we've got Humble Pie, self-titled, non-numbered edition. Palace Ultrasound, limited red vinyl edition. Try to make some space. Keaton Herald, Foreverland. Two LP set at 45 RPM. This is on Concord Jazz. Hmm. Flotsam and Jetsam, live in Phoenix. Limited edition, only 250 made on orange vinyl. I wonder where they played. Huh. The Bash on Ash. I remember that. I think I was at one of maybe 2001, 2002. This is from 2003. I don't think that's a thing anymore here in Phoenix. That's actually Tempe, right? That was on Temp in Tempe, not Phoenix. Anyways, the Jackson 5 Boogie Music on Vinyl includes the hits ABC, Dancing Machine, and Never Can Say Goodbye. Laura Brannigan. Brannigan, limited edition, 1,500 copies on numbered, 1,500 numbered copies on red vinyl. We've got Muna, Saves the World, on dark raspberry colored vinyl. Sheena Easton, Toda Mi Rekindura A T. Paste it. Limited edition powdered blue vinyl. Okay, now we are gonna show you guys, this looks like an Analog Productions restock. So, bunch of killer stuff here. Kenny Dorham's Quiet Kenny from the Prestige series. All the Prestige series are just fire, all analog, cut by Kevin Gray from the original Master Tape. Jimmy Witherspoon's Evening Blues. Lightning Hopkins, Going Away. Eddie Money's, uh, oh, don't lose my place. Eddie Money's self title this is the 33 RPM. Actually, these prestige titles I've got, I put them on the website under our pre-owned section, but I got some of the original first pressing 200 gram deep groove numbered copies that I put on the website under our pre-owned section, although I think most of them are sealed. Uh, Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky's, uh, violin Concerto, Heifetz, Living Stereo, Bartok, a Stereo Spectacular. This is actually pretty spectacular. Oh, Freddie King's getting ready. I think this was originally on Shelter. Man, I ran into an original one of these maybe a month ago. I was blown away how much the... Uh, Freddie King stuff on Shelter goes for. Hoodoo Man Blues, Junior Wells. This is the double 45, you know, two disc 45 RPM set, originally on Delmark. All right, we've got pictures at an exhibition. Try to make some more space. From my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list, Leonard Skinner, it's pronounced Leonard Skinner. Killer record. We've got Heifetz. This is the 45 RPM of Oscar Peterson's We Get Requests. I actually thought this was out of print. Maybe they reactivated it. Billy Holidays, all are nothing at all. Uh, 45 RPM. From the Prestige series, the tenor scene, Eddie Lockjaw Davis, Jimmy Forrest's Out of the Forest. This is the 45 RPM version of Mingus, 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 the five Mingai. They did a 33 RPM of this in the acoustic sound series. This is the 33 RPM of Masterpieces by Duke Ellington. The Young Bloods, great record. Phil Woods, Donald Byrd, Rebecca, Rebecca Pigeon, The Raven. 
This is the 45 RPM. Originally on Chesky, I think. Chesky. Leonard Skinner. This is the 33 RPM of second helping. Jimmy Witherspoon's Roots. This is a recital by Henrik Schneising. Yeah, that, that's what it says. 100%. All right, Louis Armstrong and Ella Fitzgerald. 45 RPM. Heifetz. 33. Stokowski and Wagner. The sound of... Tchaikovsky and Wagner. Milstein, uh, Milstein's Masterpieces, one of the very few records on Capitol, classical, you know, classical tip, if you're digging in the bins, almost no Capitol Records classical titles are worth anything. You can't give them away, you can put them in the dollar box, they'll be out here, you know, they'll still be in the dollar box when time comes to an end. Nobody wants them. But the Milstein stuff on Capitol, very, very desirable. You know, original pressing of masterpieces goes for hundreds. Julian Bream. Prokiev. Prokiev. Ooh, restock of Freddie Hubbard's Red Clay. Music on vinyl, limited to 1,500 copies. On gold and red marble vinyl. It's randomly in there, I don't know why. Really solid record. This is the 45 RPM of John Lee Hooker's, uh, The Healer. There's a 33 of this in print as well, also cut from the Analog Master tape. Shakostovich Cello Sonata. One of the uh, records that originally came out, I want to say this originally came out as a Dyna Groove, and one of the very few Dyna Groove records that are actually worth anything. Got a restock of the Analog Productions uh, Atlantic 75 series, Hootie and the Blowfish. Hootie so, sold like surprisingly well to where, you know, I had them for about three or four weeks, but they didn't last. I had to do a reorder of Hootie. Ooh, from my top 100 imprint analog records you should own, the winner of the shootout, the definitive version of The Doors LA Woman. The Analog Productions, 45 RPM. Highly recommend it. This is the title that so far for me on the Atlantic series has kind of been the most impressive. This thing sonically blew me away when I heard it. Alice Cooper's Welcome to My Nightmare, unbelievably good. Uh, the Royal Ballet's Gala Performances. On my top 100 imprint, analog records you should own. This is the way to listen to it. Original runs you three grand-ish in that range. You can get this for under 100 bucks. That sounds better. All right, guys, that is it for this week's new arrival. Again, there is going to be uh, a significant amount of videos coming up, I think, due to a record store day. So I'll be doing some talking about, you know, I'll do my show and tell that I normally do this, but record store day, that's coming up next week. I'm going to do some videos talking specifically about the titles that I kept, kind of reviewing them quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm going to a hi-fi show this weekend. I'll be in Chicago at Expona. And uh, then I come back and then it's record store day. It's going to be a busy, uh, busy couple of weeks. All right, guys, check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time. I've got blisters on my fingers!